Hey guys, welcome back to another video! The inside of there is a big village! And I have just realized that I am a victim of a bug that is uh, currently in the game right now because as you guys all know that I have three scary pumpkin I have one over here one over here one over here but recently when I go here and uh, why today I go and play Clash of Clans the Halloween update is over but I don't know how the heck I got another scary pumpkin. I swear to you guys this scary pumpkin is not here before. If you guys don't believe me, just go and check my previous video in Clash of Clans. I swear it is not in here. I swear it is not here. I mean this scary pumpkin is new. I swear. I swear. This is a this is a bug. I swear this is a bug. As you guys could see, one, two, three. But today I got a new one, and the the Halloween update is over, right? Four. How did I get four? I don't even know. But but uh, I still. So let's just move on about our scary pumpkin mystery, and to, let's just say what I am going to be doing in today's episode, then. Eh? So today I am going to be go outside for a few live attack. And I am also going to be show you guys my attack log, which is right over here. And I think this is actually a very good attack. So I am going to be replay this. As you guys could see, this is a pretty, pretty tough Tenho 7 death base. And I have been placing down a barbarian and another barbarian in those two corners over there. And as you guys could see, now I have been placing down a lot of archer, and I have also placing down a few barbarians. And now I guess I am going to be dropping down my kin. As you guys could see, my kin is going outside and have an attack. And this mortar, the mortar is actually damaging the my army uh, quite a lot. But as you guys could see. Now I have been basically placing down some barbarians and archers down the bottom just to get all of those gold mines over there. And now I think my archer is actually shooting that archer tower and that wizard tower over there as you guys could see. And it looks like my kin it is like go inside of the base right now which is nice. And uh, looks like the archers is going to be destroying the town hall, and the mortar is going to be damaging all of my archers. As you guys could see, my king has just died out, and my archers has survived one of the hit, but half of the archers has been killed in that second mortar hit, which is pretty bad. As you guys could see, there is some archer trying to break the wall. And there is also archers that try to break those elixir storage, which is pretty nice. As you guys could see, this part where a lot of archers try to break the cannon. And this is where the funny part is come out. As you guys could see, this cannon is now nearly died. And just wait and see, because this is going to be very funny. See? Single archer destroy a cannon. How funny was that? I think it is actually pretty funny in my opinion, or I think it is actually uh, kind of weird in my opinion. And as you guys could see, I have got myself four scary pumpkin, which is means that I don't want to remove all of those pumpkin. I think this is actually a good bug. This is not a bad bug for me, this is actually a good bug and I don't know why I say bad bug which is a bad a bug on the bed I don't even know why but just try to spell bad bug it's just it just sounds like bad bug 
Seriously, it's just so awesome. So right now, I am going to be go outside for a live attack. So let's just go and drum all of those troops. As you guys could see over there, I have a full army camp. Camp and my kin is going to be walking up now, which is nice. And as you guys could see, two army camp of archers, two army camp of barbarians. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like we have some archers over here. Go away, archers. You are not a boy. Go to the girl's side. Okay. Okay, enough of those. I guess let's just go outside for a live attack. So, as you guys could see, here is the base, right? I'm going to be ending the battle. Just because I am going to be attack. The Goblin base. So as you guys could see, I have basically attacked all of those, which is pretty nice. But now, I have to attack this Goblin base. So let's just press the attack button. Then as you guys could see, here is a Goblin base. But I don't think I am going to be go outside for a live attack today. But I might, I might. And it looks like I have dropped myself a Barbarians. Looks like there's a bomb. And, oh, I don't even know why, when I drop all of the barbarians. But anyway, I am going to be dropping all the barbarians just to testing out there if there is any trap. Because in the goblin base, there is supposed to be a tons of trap. So, I am going to be very careful about attacking the goblin base. Just because, you know, Goblin Base, there is always trap, as you guys could see. There is just booby trap everywhere. So now, I have been basically cleaning out of the booby trap. Oh no, there's actually another one. See? Booby trap all over the place. How cool was that? Not cool at all. Because... I will be not get fooled by all of those booby traps, as you guys know. And now, I guess those amounts of barbarians is enough. Maybe I need some more archers to just go and helping out the barbarians. Just because there is a lot of them dying right now. And I know there is more trap inside. But I am not going to be spending the whole day watching out the trap. As you guys could see, there is more trap. There is just literally trap everywhere oh no oh no i have accidentally placing down my kin but anyway i guess the, let's just placing down the kin anyway just because the kin will be just uh, basically help i guess the, so looks like my kin has uh, destroyed everything and now i have basically ha get a three star which is uh, very nice as you guys could see but oh my kin is actually still awake I actually thought that that the kin is going to be fall asleep, but but I am wrong. The kin is still awake, and I have got an achievement, which is win 15 star on the Champagin map. All right, I am going to be getting all the all of those free jump though. Thank you very much. And now I am going to be attack another goblin base. So. So, let's just go and uh, attack another one. And as you guys could see, this base is, is like a little bit tricky. As you guys could see, we got the stone walls. But, but, there is going to be booby trap all over the place. So, there is no booby trap on the corner or outside or near the archer tower. But I think inside of those tunnel, there will be a lot of bomb. And I really don't want to trigger all of those bombs just because they're bad for me. So I decide I will use the barbarian for this ride. You guys might be sure that I am going to be saying barbarian king, but I am going to be using barbarians instead. So let's just drop in all of our barbarians over here. And I am going to be dropping in a few archers over here and a few archers around here. And now it is the best time for me to drop in a barbarian king. And of course, some of those barbarians here. As you guys could see, they are basically just taking over this base right now, which is pretty nice. I mean, the goblin camp 
in general, they actually look pretty good. They actually look like some kind of dark evil forest to me, but I love the style of tree, but I don't think this is probably the best time to basically looking at the grass or the tree because we got a battle right here. As you guys could see, we got a battle right here and we are going to be winning very soon as you guys could see. The Barbarian King is on low health, which is means that after this ride, the Barbarian King is going to be fall asleep, which is pretty bad just because he has losing a lot of health, as you guys could see. I have to be waiting for another 5 minutes, but I don't have time to wait for another 5 minutes. I am going to be... I don't even know what I am going to do. I mean, I have a lot of Barbarians. And not so many archers. So I guess that I might be just doing another another goblin goblin whatever the goblin thing is, but I am going to be raiding another goblin base as you guys could see. There is actually some pretty big cannons over there, which is pretty hard for me to raid. But we have gold. We have gold in this base. But we have four very, very strong cannon as well. So I think we have bomb over here. And let's just go and dropping in a few barbarians just to testing out if there is any bomb. I know if there is bomb, I can't even trigger it just because Supercell is being very sneaky. I know they are, they are generally very sneaky, but, but I guess I am going to be attacked this side. So... Let's just do it. Let's just dropping in the king and of course all the barbarians. And I guess they might be triggering some of those bombs. So I am going to be dropping in all the barbarians and all the archers. I guess I might die. I might lose just because I don't have full army as you guys could see over here. But I have been able to destroy the cannon as, and as you guys could see, I knew there is bomb over there. But the thing is, I cannot trigger it this is the most uh, pine forest thing ever you know there's going to be bomb inside there but but guess what you cannot trigger it and they are going to be just damaging you a lot as you guys could see but anyway i am being able to grabbing some loot as you guys could see over there and i am being able to pass one of the goblin map which is a pretty funny but sadly I cannot th three stars that base, which is pretty sad in general. But I I have been been attacking through a lot of goblin base today, which is pretty nice. But I guess I will be go outside for a brand old live attack in the next episode, if you guys don't mind. But, as you guys could see, in the last episode, I am basically talking about the Spell Factory. It is, it is now still upgrading, which is pretty sad. But, anyway, I, I cannot go into the war. Because I have tell my friend that I, I cannot use Spell. Which is means that I cannot go to the war, otherwise... As you know, I don't have spell. I cannot use it. So, so guys, it's nearly the time for today's video. And I will be see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And goodbye. <laughs>
anyway, you guys, goodbye.